Well, ageing is an inevitable part of life, but some everyday activities are ultimately accelerating the rate at which we age. So what are the secrets to turning back the clock and slowing down the ageing process? For more, I'm joined by nutritional biochemist and author Dr Libby Weaver, who's in Perth as part of a national tour. Welcome to you, Dr Weaver. Thank you so much, Tracy. Firstly, how do our hormones age us? So our stress hormones in particular, adrenaline and cortisol, historically we only made them when our life was literally in danger. But these days we tend to make adrenaline when we consume a lot of caffeine and because of our perception of pressure and urgency. So for a lot of people it's constant and relentless. Okay, so it sounds too good to be true though, but how can we slow down the ageing process? <laughs> so when we breathe diaphragmatically instead of in short, sharp, shallow ways here in the upper part of our chest, that lowers stress hormones faster than anything. Okay. And I think too exploring that perception of pressure and urgency and saving it for when we really need it is important because a lot of people, for example, stress about what other people think of them, being here being there so just exploring what that's really about can be so incredibly empowering. How can we tell that we're, if we're ageing at a faster rate? So uh, the body will often gives us external signs. So uh, the outer third of our eyebrow hair might fall out. L parts of our head hair might fall out. We might notice changes in our skin. So that information, I, I try to help people to decipher that. So for example, when the outer third of our eyebrow hair starts to fall out, it can indicate that there's something happening with the thyroid or an iron deficiency. And head hair loss can indicate a sex hormone imbalance, which I talk a lot about in my work. So oh, okay. they're, they're all just signs that the body gives us from the inside out because it doesn't have a voice it just gives us symptoms to to encourage us to explore what's yeah. happening but there's all, all a connection there so so what are some simple lifestyle changes we can make to prevent that accelerated aging <laughs> so one of the ways we age from the inside out is called oxidation and that's created by free radicals so that means we need to eat plenty of antioxidants which we get from our colored <laughs> plant foods our fruits and our veggies yep. uh, and of course becoming incredibly breath aware is is truly I say it it sounds too simple to make a difference but it can be game-changing to slowing down that ageing process. So plenty of whole real food and some lovely restorative practices, some downtime, leisure time. I feel like that's something that so many people these days have compromised. Yeah, we're not, we seem to be uh, living faster these days and trying to fit too much in, but also, as you mentioned, just taking that time and breathing slower. <laughs> yeah, and we all have to breathe. And, and of course, the, instead of feeling that it's overwhelming to eat more antioxidants, mm -hmm. it can be good to just think of food as either junk or food, and we simply just need to eat food, and that will give us plenty of antioxidants going in to help uh, slow down the, the visible signs of ageing. They're, they're, they're two simple steps everyone can okay. take. Okay, great stuff. All right, yeah, and your new, new book, The Beauty Guide, Your Body, Biochemistry and Beliefs, uh, and Beliefs, I should say, is on sale now. So thank you, Dr Libby Weaver, for joining us this afternoon. That's a pleasure, Tracy. Thank you.